So welcome back to another episode on Crow 3D tutorial. And in this um, tutorial, we'll be learning three things. We'll be learning how to add zip to this track. So also learn how to pipe and also um, adding graphics in this um, tutorial. So, but before we move, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And you can also visit my page to get beginner's tutorial on Crow 3D. So let's begin. So the first one I'll be doing here is to add um, graphics to this um, track suit. I'll be putting it at the um, right hand side of this um, track suit and also on the um, pants here. Uh, so the graphics icon is on this um, 2D pattern side. Tap on it. So I'll be going to, I'll be adding my logo. I'm coming. Uh, okay. So all you just need is to tap. So the big box shows, then you can just reduce the size by maybe manually pressing like 100. Then you can also always adjust. But notice that when you are adding graphics, your browser would have switched from fabric to graphics browser. So this is um, your fabric browser in case you're having issue going back to your um, fabric browser. This is it here. So well, let's go back to our um, graphics browser. And to adjust, you can click on this, or you can just, just tap on it, yes, to adjust, then just pull it. You can tap any side, any side you want. It's going to always increase in size, any side you want. So this is it here. So that is it. Then we can always copy and paste on the pants if you want exactly the same size. So what we just do is just Control c and Control v and you drag to the pant side. Was too close, yeah. Yes. Well, my logo is quite big, yeah. So, um, there's also one thing you should notice when you are copying and pasting um graphics, any adjustment you make in this graphics will always affect the first graphic. So you can either add the graphics again through this way in order not to affect the previous graphic you've placed on um any part of the shirt or any part of your design or your garment, you get can that hard here. So this is what I'm trying to say. If I adjust this thing a little bit, it's going to affect this one. See, it's already smaller. And you don't want this one to be smaller. You want this one. So sometimes it's just better for you to, um, it's just better for you to, you can probably just delete this one. Sorry, I've already removed that. So you just probably better, you just have to add graphics the other way add it like manual instead of copying and pasting a ball you get so that's the thing so the next one i'll be doing is to add zip here yeah. so um so this is the zip um um icon here on the 3d bar uh, it's not available on the 2d um pattern the 2d bar here yeah. so you can see it on the 3d bar so you can add it you can add the zip either on the 2d pattern side or on the 3d um, view so what you just need to do is to tap let me zoom, let's zoom closer. So just tap on the point here, then down, double click, then do the same again to the other side of the C. I'm coming. I think I've bent to me. I bent too much. I'll start again. So um I just want to make sure it's on the point. So avoid time. So right here, yes, on this point. Sorry. And double click. So when you double click, so when you double clicks, it loads. So this is the zip appearing here. You can you can see this is the zip here. So you just press on spacebar. Yep, our zip is ready. Voila. So um, this is the zip here. Also, if your zip is also editable too. So what you need to do to edit your zip um, is here. You just need to tap on what you want to edit. Um, so, uh, sorry, uh, I'm not clicking. On, yes, this is it. So, you can edit. This is the mapping of the zip. Yeah, zip yeah. So, you can make it metal. Um, what else again? This is the teeth. So, let's say you want to make it metal. So, this is it here. Scroll. This is metallic. Then to switch to the tape, this tape is this white um, stuff around it. So you can also adjust 
anything you want to change color. You can also, you can make it metal too if you want. You can also change the color to yellow, yeah, any one you want. So that's just it. So depending on your taste, you can do that. So that's that for you can also the zip too is also the same thing. But to adjust it, you have to tap on it through the 3D um view. You can tap on it, you can um check other options through the 2D uh, pattern view. You need to tap on it through the um, 3D view. So this one's too. You can also this is the puller. So you can change, see the designs here. So you can pick any design you want. You can tap on this. Yeah, this I can also adjust the size to the size is always here. So all these are part of it. So when you during the tutorial, you can just play through the figures and to adjust this um to adjust these things. So the last one I'll be doing here is piping. Probably you see it on you see it on also you see it on track suits, you see it on bags too. So but first of all, what you need to do is to um there must be an internal line. Inter if you are drag if you are adding piping to the parts of the um this thing, there must be an internal line, or you can just um, add pipe through the edges here. So let's assume okay. Okay, now I want to add piping to this um to this um design here. And I also add it to the um, shoulder side and probably to the wrist side. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. So let's start with the shoulder side so I can explain what I'm trying to say. So um, this is piping here. This is the icon for piping. And this is to edit piping. And this is to add piping. So let's tap on piping. So this pops up. You can add manually here or um to the pattern but using the to the pattern so let me um scroll or zoom so that's it um, so i'm dragging to this sorry i don't know why So the piping is there, as you can see. Um, I double click here. So to double click to avoid any necessary um, piping in other areas. So this is piping here. So we can add to the other side to, or if it's already, um, if it's not there. So we can also add to this side too. Okay. Let me simulate to see if it's going to properly add one. I don't know why this is showing at all. So um let's try again. <clears throat> uh -huh, perfect. So this is piping here. It's piping here and here. So let's assume you want to add piping internally. Now these are the pattern of the design, but then let us add um, piping intern internally. Sorry. So for you to add piping internally, then what you need to do is to make sure that you have an internal line here so that you use your piping icon to follow through the line for it to appear. So um so these are it is. Let me scroll back. Um so let's internal line. So I always get internal line here. Just um Right click, hold on, right click for, for just a few seconds for this thing to pop out. Then use the internal polygon line, that's G. So, um, we are going to drag from this top side, you just have to make sure it's at the center to this double click. Yeah, I see the perfect. So, okay, so it has popped up on the other side too. We well, might need to like drag it, drag it a bit to go to the center. So I'll tap on Z to edit and move it a bit. Okay. Okay, I think it's okay like this. So the next thing for us to do is to click on the piping icon back. So this is the piping. So um now we can now create a pipe at the internal part or <coughs> between the um pants. So uh what you do is just follow to the internal line. This is it. And double click. So is here. You can see our piping is ready. So we'll do the same to the other side too. So, 
So um, complete. So that's it. So that's how to add um, piping. So that's how to add piping. So let's just move to other part of piping. So you can always edit your pipe. So um, we have one here, and we have one at the other side. So um, this is the fabric. So if you change the color of this fabric, the color of this piping should change with it. So um, let's go to fabric and change the color of the pipe to have the color of this um design. apply gun. So let's go back to this so you can see some. So can you can see because you change the color of the fabric, you can see this is the I'm sure you must have noticed it in some of the clothes you wear as a beginner, you must have noticed something like this. So um let's do more again with piping. So let's edit pipes again. So you can tap on it or let's tap on it here. Yeah, so um, also if your pipe is too um, thick or is too small, I don't know to this here, you can always reduce and increase it by right, this 1.5. Let's say 1.5 now. Okay. So it is now thinner than the previous one. So this is it. And you can also make it bigger. So we can make it like four. See? Very big, very, very big. So that's just it. So, what you just need to do is just to play around with the figures, try and adjust it to your taste. So, also, I forgot to add this. I'm sure you might be looking at my design, probably looking lighter or thinner because of all this dark in our part. But then you can make it thicker by tapping on this. These are options here, but this means thicker, thick. Shows the thickness, as you can see, it's thick. So, and yeah, me this thinner to make it thin textured. So most time we use this one to identify the inside and the outer part of the um, clue design, and this one make it thick. Then it looks nice when you are rendering. So let's render this. But just make sure this is thick to see the result in the rendering scene, or else it is not thick, you don't see it here too. So, this is the so this is it. 